Today marks a milestone for SCDC as we take a huge step forward by signing this bill. Governor Rick Master will be signing into law a measure that will allow for us to stop illegal cell phones in prisons. It's always been against our rules, but now it's against the law. First at six, prison officials say the most dangerous weapon inmates can have behind bars are cell phones. But they believe the new law will keep more South Carolinians safe by cracking down on what happens behind prison walls. State House reporter Mary Green has the details. In the past, if South Carolina inmates were caught with a cell phone, they'd be disciplined with consequences like losing their visitation or canteen privileges. Now it's a crime and can result in more prison time. Having these cell phones in, in prisons allows a prisoner to conduct his business almost in a private office without any interference day and night whenever he wants or she and this will eliminate that. Officials say inmates contraband cell phones have led to crimes being facilitated behind bars like drug trafficking, hits being put out on prison guards and even the deadliest prison riot in state history. In 2018, law enforcement says inmates at a South Carolina prison got their hands on a phone and used it to sexually extort Army veteran Jared Johns, who later took his life because of it. Who is not alive today because a prisoner inside Lee Correctional Institution decided he wasn't done committing crimes just because he was behind walls. Governor Henry McMaster held a ceremony to mark the change in law, making it illegal for inmates to possess phones on Tuesday at the Columbia Complex, where multiple state prisons are housed. <laughs> Corrections Director Brian Sterling says a first in the nation pilot program that allows them to identify and disable illegal phones in a matter of days has been successful in its first prison. We started July 1st, 2023, and it's working. As of today, 1,500 phones and SIM cards have been disabled at Lee. Let that sink in. There's only 1,116 inmates, so it's more than the number of inmates at Lee Correctional. That program will soon expand to several other prisons, thanks to money from the state legislature. Sterling hopes more will be added to the list with next year's budget as well. I can tell you that that's going to continue to be a priority in funding in the General Assembly as we move forward with this next budget. Now, Director Sterling has repeatedly reiterated that the ultimate fix to this issue is being able to jam cell phone signals behind prison walls. But the federal government has refused to even take it into consideration, despite pleas for years from Sterling and other prison officials from across the country. Reporting Columbia, I'm Mary Green. And the new law is named in honor of Captain Robert Johnson, a now retired contraband captain at Lee Correctional Institution. Johnson was shot at his Sumter home in 2010 after inmates ordered a hit on him using a contraband cell phone.